2020 NBA All-Star Weekend. That was pretty damn fun. Hey now, Giannis comes up with a great reverse layup going in for Anthony Davis. James gets by him. James slams it home. Ray Young, half-court heave at the horn. It's good. It's a great start to that new format. Felt like the end of a playoff game almost. Yeah, it was fun. We could all use a little change. Well, well. Davis has the ball. Free throw up. It's good. It's over. Team LeBron has won the 69th NBA All-Star Game. What a game. How often are we actually saying that an all-star game lived up to a height, the hype, and it did last night. Golik and Wingo on ESPN Radio, ESPN2. Jason fits in for Trey with Mike Golik, Mike Golik Jr. We're presented by Progressive Insurance. All phone guests join us on the Shell Penzo Performance Line. And heck yeah, I'm all lit. like, look, it was a little weird. I mean, we all we all saw the changes. I don't think everybody knew changes were coming, but they announced the all-star game. And then they said, by the way, we're going to completely blow up the format. We're going to do it completely different. Every quarter is going to be its own prize with the money going back to charity. And then in the fourth quarter, they'll have to hit a target number using their combined score. It seemed confusing. And then you get into the actual game. And, man, we had fourth quarter all-star game basketball where there was defense being played. Listen, Give me that all day. The, the whole weekend, to me, of sports between the NBA all-star game, unfortunately, the Daytona 500 we'll get into isn't going to run until today. The XFL in there, week two, the golf where Tiger kind of exploded a little bit in a bad way, unfortunately. There, were, there was a lot to this. And I have always said about the NBA and the NHL all-star games, I like everything that leads up to the game. The games are okay, right? But the skills challenges, and listen, we weren't denied that either, right? Bam out of bio and the, the skills competition, Buddy Heald and the three-point hitting that last shot, the slam dunk contest, which we'll get into. We were entertained. There was controversy then, but my God, were we entertained with a couple of guys and some of the dunks that they were doing. And then for me, it's always been, oh, hum, okay, now here's the game. I'll kind of keep kind of an eye on it somewhat. But it got, you know, the first three quarters were what they were, the individual quarters themselves to to charity. But, man, that that fourth quarter, what a difference, not only for us watching it, but for the players on the court as well. And you know what, see, that's why I think for me, like, the first three quarters where it was still more competitive kind of mattered more because I think we always tended to see that trend in all-star games, which is especially yes. when there's a financial <laughs> prize. The NFL's tried to do this with the Pro Bowl where you incentivize winning so much so that some of these fourth quarters do get a little tight. What I thought was cool was the idea of you are playing for charity and the kids that were, I believe, the kids that were going to benefit from a lot of these charities were invited to the game to get a chance to yep. see these guys up close and personal. It's the added incentive of saying, hey, you're trying to help people that are right here in front of you. Go ahead and get it. And so I think it kind of upped everybody's intensity a bit. And then the fourth quarter setup, to me, the more I think about it, like is the most familiar thing to anyone who's grown up playing basketball. Like you're playing to 21. You're playing to yeah. a set number when you play pickup hoops. And that's essentially what the fourth quarter devolves into, which is a pickup basketball game to a number you set based so, off the first three. So, again, if, if, if people don't know what it was, is each quarter was played individually, quarter one, two, and three, and then they reset the score to zero. Team LeBron won quarter one, Giannis won quarter two, and quarter three was tied. So that, that money, charity money, rolled over to the fourth quarter. And then the fourth quarter started with the a actual score being put up on the board, and then the winning team only had to score 24 more points in honor of Kobe Bryant. So they needed, that was Team Giannis. They were nine points ahead of, of Team LeBron. So the number was set at 157. And that's what Team Giannis needed to get 24 points of that. LeBron was nine points back, so they needed 33 points. So uh, to you, uh, to your point, I agree. First one to 157 wins. And all of a sudden, the fourth quarter got well, crazy. It is funny. Crazy. It is funny, and it's understandable given those stats. To say that a game that ended up with both teams scoring over 150, 150. points yeah. involved any defense. It's Monday That's Morning true. Roundup brought to you by AutoZone. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Now, there was a little bit of a huh moment at the end of this game, though, because yeah. it comes all the way down. As you guys have pointed out, they had to get to 157. It comes down to the end. There's all this drama going down into the end. But Anthony Davis gets fouled on the last, what turns out to be the last play. Right. So he goes to the line with the opportunity. All he has to do is hit one, and he wins the game. This is Anthony Davis talking about how the free throws went down. See, Anthony Davis, ever the performer, wants, us to, remind, wants to remind us he was really worried about our entertainment. Uh, I told my team I was going to miss the first one and put a little bit more pressure on myself here at home. Uh, so I made it look good. I made the miss look good. Back rim. 
And then, you know, went up to the line, crowd going crazy. The, uh, his team down is booing me. You know, Trey Young coming on the floor, touching my hand. And so I just wanted to make sure I put a little extra pressure on myself to knock down the second. Okay. Yeah. That's one way to do it, huh? I'm just going to give it all the drama. Are we believing it? it? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, does it matter? Like, it's a, it's a walk-off free throw at that point. You know the number is 157, so what's it matter whether you make yeah. it on the first free throw or the second? I guess that would be the only thing. Do you want it to end on a free throw? It no. was It was 150. <laughs> it was 150. I can assure you, no. So it was 154, 153. Uh, three. Team LeBron was winning, so a three-pointer was going to win it. So LeBron had the ball, and Team Giannis was just guarding the three-point line, saying we're not letting this end on a three. So LeBron drives and dunks it. So now it's 156-153. Team Giannis still needs two possessions uh, to win the game. So that's what was Le LeBron sought until it led to uh, AD going to the free throw line. I guess that would be the only thing because what we saw in the fourth quarter, there were more fouls in the fourth quarter, 21, than the first three quarters combined. Yeah. There were three offensive fouls. Guys were taking charges in the fourth quarter. Kyle Lowry was taking charges. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Lowry, Lowry was You're being right. that guy right. on, on the pickup team yep. that's like, hey, I'm just going to give a lot of defensive effort. That's my but, thing. But, I mean, just saying defensive effort, you know, kind of kind of blows your mind. There were no fast break points in the fourth quarter. There were three dunks in the fourth quarter. There were 48 in the first three quarters. But I have to say, it ending on a free throw felt kind of dirty. Well, right? the, the, and as you think about it, the only tough part is, all right, if you say you can't end on a free throw, then we go back to a lot of the fouling that people were kind of happy was out of this fourth oh, quarter, that's right? right. Yep, it yep. takes away, because you're going to a point total specific, it takes away some of that fouling down the stretch that tends to muck up the end of games in a lot of this. So if you say all of a sudden you can't end on free throws, then people are going to make foul. sure yeah. you can't end on free throws You're in right. that, which would be unfortunate. So I think it's one of those things where it's just bad because it was the first year of this yeah. that we end up ending on a free throw. I don't know, Mike. You had a suggestion earlier of what they could do in the fourth quarter. Well, no, Bamani Jones had a suggestion and tweeted it last night. Call your own fouls in the fourth. Oh. I mean, like that true, would, true that pickup. Because we said where you're playing to a point total like pickup yes. basketball, why not go full pickup on this and see, who, see who's really about it? I mean, see, see who would have the guts to actually make the call, right? Foul, you know, and, and call the Joel foul. Joel Embiid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Go look at we go on ESPN Radio, ESPN2. Again, uh, last night, uh, Team LeBron wins the All-Star Game. Should also mention that Kawhi Leonard right, named yeah. the MVP. And for anyone that didn't see this, the MVP award, uh, named uh, after Kobe Bryant at this point. That's one of many things that they did to sort of uh, give a moment of silence and give some memory to Kobe and, and Gigi and everybody that was lost in the tragic accident. Which was something we talked about when, when you know, kind of in the, the week after or so after, what would you the NBA potentially right, do right. to honor? And I forget who we had on. I think it might have been Tim Legler that brought up the idea of naming some sort of award yeah. after him. And That's good. the all-star MVP feels like a pretty fitting tribute. This is what Kawhi said after the game about winning the award. Uh, it means a lot to me. You know, words can't even explain. Just making this the first Kobe Bryant MVP trophy. You know, I want to thank Kobe for everything he done for me. All the uh, long talks and workouts. Uh, you know, thank you. This, this one for him. Obviously, Kawhi and Kobe had a, a very close relationship. So, a very special moment for Kawhi Leonard as Kawhi wins that eight threes for Kawhi. By the way, I mean he was just he was uh, just shooting lights out from the get go and never stopped. So big game for him. Yeah, I mean he came out shooting threes and and he hit the first couple. So it's like okay, you know we're just going to kind of keep going with this. I again from from the competitive standpoint, this is the first time the 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 final score has been two points or less since I think 2010 because we know where this game gets away to. And again, the first three quarters doesn't mean the games were close, you know, as far as the individual scores or the quarters, but I do like it. I, I don't mind making, because it's a game that doesn't count. So make it entertaining somehow, some way you still had the entertaining dunks that you'd like to see from these incredible athletes, but then you have, like you see in some of the other all-star games, it gets a little serious in the fourth quarter when there's money on the line here, there's charity money on the line, and it just made it more competitive all the way around. You're just here to make us care enough, right? Yeah. Like, just enough. And I think the NBA, I've always said the NBA All-Star Weekend, while NHL might do the skills contest better and make it fun, the NBA is, like, the most inherently visually pleasing sport when it comes to a lot of these oh, yeah. easy access points for entertainment, and they just max those out. They gave us all of those in the best way possible so far. So, hell yeah, run it back. Let's well, go. Chris, Chris Paul caught an alley-oop in this game. It, like, Chris Paul caught an alley-oop <laughs> in this game. That is the kind of environment that we're fostering. I am for that. Now, again, the Team LeBron beats Team Giannis 157-155 in the new first time we've had this new All-Star Game format. That's great. 
Junior just mentioned the skills competition that we love to watch. It was not without tremendous controversy. Even Man, even in skills competitions now, we're get, we get the controversy. We'll tell you about it and see if we can figure out. I think we've pinpointed the one person that's responsible yes. for the controversy Zeroing that in. rocked the world on Saturday night. We'll get to that after this. Uh, good thing they weren't trying to fix it. When it comes to hiring, you don't have time to waste. You need to get to your short list of qualified candidates fast. That's why you need Indeed.com. Post a job in minutes. Set up screener questions based on your job requirements. And zero in on qualified candidates using an intuitive online dashboard. Your time is precious. Let Indeed help you get to your shortlist of qualified candidates.